Linux Mint with a theme called Quagga applied to it. File Manager, LibreOffice customised, the Control Centre, customised panel with some transparency, wallpaper, and more. If you like the look of the theme, I'm going to show you how I did it. This is our fairly standard Linux Mint install. I'm using a Matei desktop here, but it's pretty similar on. Cinnamon, which I'll show a little bit later. We go to this page on GitHub. The links will be in the description. So if you click those links now, you'll be able to follow along. Here, this green button that says code. Download zip. While that's downloading, scroll down. under this Firefox part, you can see icon theme, Quagga. You do the same thing here, green button code, download the zip, wallpaper, this is the one I've selected for the demonstration, come down to files, again the link will be in the description, I'm going to use this one here that says no logo because it's, it's got a little logo down in the corner there. This one doesn't have it. Click on that and click download. And if we now go to our downloads, let's move the picture into our pictures folder. Unzip these. Do the icons first. Just double click. Extract. And just back into downloads is fine for what we're doing here. So hit extract again. And we're done with the zip file. We can just press delete on that. And now here's the theme. Double click that, extract, extract again, delete that also. Here's our icons, here's our theme. Let's start with the icons. Double click and go into the folder. This is the install script. Don't be scared, it's pretty simple. Just right click. In the folder, in the empty folder somewhere, and go open in terminal. As you can see here with the blue text in that location. Let's make that a little bigger. And we just need to type period or full stop forward slash install dot sh. And press enter. Don't even need your password or anything like that. That's done. Go back to downloads. Double click the theme folder. Same thing, here's the install script. Right click down here, open in terminal. Pressing the up arrow on the keyboard will bring up that last command, which is the same command here, just that now we're in the theme folder rather than the icon folder. So again, we press enter. It's done. And we start the appearance app. It's in the menu. Scroll down and see what we get. It is here, Quagga. Let's go Quagga Dark.
it's saying that there's some problem with the icons. Let's go into customize. Add icons. I'm going to select just Quogar rather than Quogar Dark. You can see one's there and one's got some sort of issue. Close out of there. This is what the file manager looks like. Icon view looks like this. Let's have a look at the menu. See that's transformed quite a bit as well. Different icons, different appearance. It's got this nice blue hint around the search box. Blue background. Bring this down near the panel. See all the colors. Fairly close, they're not perfect match, but they sort of complement each other well. The menu actually sort of fits this colour here, so that's part of the theme, obviously. And that just helps to define each section of the window or application that you're in. There's nice lines and a bit of colour difference here and there. Let's change the wallpaper. I noticed this before, there you go, it's just fixed itself. Sometimes this little right click menu opens up with arrows at the top and bottom, but it's just corrected itself. So change desktop background. And I'm going to click the add button. There it is there in my pictures folder. It's hit open. That's just the wallpaper that that I like that I chose for the demonstration. Obviously, you don't have to use that one if you don't like it. I'm going to clean up the desktop. You go to the control center. You can see that's taken on a bit of a transformation as well. I'm going to go down to this desktop settings and desktop. I'm just going to deselect home computer, and now those icons are gone. The other thing that I quite liked on this was right click the panel and go to properties. Go to background. I thought it looked good with a little bit of transparency. You know, if, we, if we want to operate transparent, we're locked out until we choose a solid color. But if we choose a solid color, it goes like that. So we'll go back to none. We go to the menu, start typing the word color. Color selection dialog, so let's click on it. This is a little eyedropper. Click on that. And now what it's done, it's given us this little eyedropper. Here it says color name, hash FFF. See that changes when we click on the panel. So our color is 2123-2B. Here we go, solid color. We click on this white piece here. We hit little X for custom, copy, then we paste into there, or you can type it in manually, hit select, and so the panel's now solid color that we've predetermined, and now we can just wind this back a little bit, depending on how far back you want to go. I just liked a bit of a hint, so somewhere around 60 to 80. The panel's still the same colour, but now we're running on a solid colour that we've predetermined by figuring out what it is. And now we can actually make it transparent if we do so. I'm just going to run with it about there. This is as optional as changing the theme in the first place, but I thought it looked... Uh, Pleasing that way. So that's the Mate Color Selector. It's a pretty handy tool. Unfortunately, it's not in Cinnamon. When we get to Cinnamon, I'll show you the, the colors that I've used there. And close that. Start Libre Rider. See, Libre Office is a little bit bright. Tools, options. 
and you can see I've got some color numbers pre-selected up here automatic and then we go custom color and in here I'm going to go 21 23 2b okay I'm going to save that as 21 23 2b That one's a little bit dark, <clears throat> so let's click on it again. Custom color 32, 34, 3F, and we'll go OK. And this is just a color I picked this with the picker earlier. Uh, you saw how to use the picker earlier in the video. And let's save this one as well as 32, 34, 3F. And apply and OK. So LibreOffice, and that's at 32343F. And there's the other one there. So I'm just going to delete that one out, and I'll be running on that if I was going to be using the system. That's how I customize my colors for LibreOffice. And the only other thing is I do not print myself, so I don't know if you go to print that, whether it's going to not just print out these couple of bits of text here, but whether it's going to print the whole page in that color. So let's have a look before Firefox and after Firefox. File Manager before, File Manager after. Calculator before and after, disks, celluloid there's not much difference because it's pre-installed uh, in a dark theme, but here you'll notice again on the system monitor, this green section, and now on the after shot, it's got that nice blue going down the front of it there, and there's our menu, we'll have a look at some of the different categories. If you're wondering where all the themes and icons went to, the themes, if we go Control H, the themes I think are in dot themes, there they are. And the icons, I think they went into dot local, share icons. The install is the same on Cinnamon. The only thing that's a little bit different is your system settings and themes. And here you just click on these boxes to select which one you want. I'm not a Cinnamon user, but I couldn't actually find a way of getting transparency on the panel or anything like that. So it is a little bit different. Cinnamon does some stuff that Matei doesn't do and vice versa. I also couldn't find a color picker in Cinnamon. There you go, a nice new theme on your Linux Mint desktop. And with your do this particular one that I've done here and just follow it along or go out and find something that you like even more. Either way is good with me. Linux is all about choice.